Right, so let me show you now the law of sines. The line of sines is also gonna be important on finding the coordinate transformation between the different coordinate systems. So let's prove the law of sines. The law of sines states that uh, sine of an angle over the sine of a side is equal to the sine of the angle over the sine of the other side, and that doesn't change with respect to the angles and sides that you use. So to prove this, we start from the fundamental law of trigonometry that cosine squared plus sine squared is equal to one, and we substitute the cosine A as given by the fundamental law of cosines. So isolate cosine of big A here. Now substitute this into the expression for the sine square of A. Now put it all under the same denominator. And substitute sine squared a little b and sine squared a little c by their respective cosine formulations. So that becomes sine squared of a is equal to one minus cosine squared of b times one minus cosine squared of c minus cosine of a minus cosine of b cosine of c squared and all of that divided by sine of b squared times sine of c squared. Now expand, <clears throat> expand this multiplications and squares. You have one minus cosine of b squared minus cosine of c squared plus cosine of b squared cosine of c squared. And then the square here is minus cosine squared of a minus cosine squared of b cosine squared of c plus two cosine a cosine b cosine c. Now with that, under sine of b squared, sine of c squared. So what do you see here? The cosine square b and cosine square c, they're positive and a negative term, they cancel out. Now if you divide the expression by the sine square a little way, sine square big A over sine square a little way is equal to one minus cosine square of A minus cosine square B minus cosine square C plus twice cosine of A, cosine of B, and the cosine of C. And all of that under sine square of A, sine square of B, and sine square of C. Now, the right hand side is invariant under a cyclic permutation of A, B, and C. So it doesn't matter if on the left hand side I have A or B or C, the law of signs follows immediately from it. So the theorem, the law of signs, QED.